What's going on my little piglets? It's your BFF Pork Shop here and I'm coming at you with another video that's a rant, a rave, a talk, a discussion, a ramble about America's team, the Dallas Cowboys. Before I get started, if you guys can please go ahead and hit that subscribe button to become a piglet and also turn that bell notification on. That way you're notified every single time I upload a video, whether it be a vlog, a Cowboys talk, a, a Toronto Huskies video, a Cowboys franchise in Madden, just whatever I, I feel like posting that day, food review, once in a blue moon, uh, then I would greatly appreciate it. So that way you're in the loop and I know you're in the loop. And so there we go. So the topic for today is we cut Cooper Rush. And I am more than okay with this cut. I am, I am, I'm happy with this cut. Cooper Rush was one of those players that was probably, like when it comes to ranking the uh, 32 backup quarterbacks in the league, the uh, number two quarterbacks in each, you know, each team, uh, not counting the, the third or anything like that, it just seems like Cooper Rush was at the bottom tier when it came to the worst when it came to backups. And I am... I, with the, with the signing of Dalton, which was something that needed to be done, uh, we instantly just picked up one of the best backup quarterbacks in the league because this is a guy that's been starting for eight years in Cincinnati, so he knows what he's doing. Uh, now he's no you know Tom Brady or anything like that, but the guy, you know, he knows what he's doing. And having a backup quarterback, uh, I was listening once again to the Locked In Podcast uh, Network with the uh, Cowboys, and brought up a very good point. It's an extra set of eyes for the starting quarterback. It's an extra set of, you know, ears, and it's an extra set of just an opinion that needs to be there uh, when, you know, somebody can jump off on the line and, like, somebody be like, oh, Dalton especially could be like hey when this guy does this this is what's gonna happen oh you know when, when the guy calls this out I feel like this is gonna happen when he does this hand motion I, I, I just think that this is gonna happen you know and having somebody like that as a backup quarterback this is probably the best backup quarterback the Cowboys have had in a long 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 time um, I can't even tell you the last like legit backup quarterback that we've had like ever and uh, Cooper Rush was not one of the best backup quarterbacks. So, I do feel that the writing was on the wall for him when we did sign Andy Dalton and before that when we drafted uh, Ben DiNucci in the seventh round. And it just seems like when we have four quarterbacks in the roster, the odd man out is going to be Cooper Rush. Yeah, he's Mr. Preseason. He's Mr. You know, hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna look good in the first couple of preseason games, and then never show my face ever again. And uh, Dak, I hope you don't get injured because I ain't gonna do shit. That is the type of player that he is. Now, Andy Dalton, on the other hand, could be one of those guys that shows up in the preseason and earns that number two slot, obviously. And uh, Danucci goes to the practice squad, or we carry three quarterbacks, which. I don't think we should carry three quarterbacks, like, ever, unless Dak is a, like, let's say a Carson Wentz that has injury issues. Uh, Dak has played every single game in his career, so I don't have a problem with us just keeping two quarterbacks, because if Andy Dalton goes in there, then I think we're good. We just don't rely on him. It, it's a team sport, obviously, but if... if Dalton were to go in because of a Dak injury or a Dak holdout or what have you, then I feel way more comfortable with him behind center versus Cooper Rush. And Cooper Rush, okay, I saw somebody post this on the uh, one of the Cowboy Fan Facebook pages, and I agree with it. Don't be surprised if the Eagles pick him up or honestly if any of the nfc east teams pick him up or any of the uh the the nfc north teams or the afc north because i think that's the uh, schedule we have this year we have the afc north um that 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 could be another thing that uh, could happen 
because uh, we do, we do play the uh, I believe we do play the Browns and the Steelers and, and all these other quarter quarterbacks that are you know good and uh, Andy Dalton is uh, able to recognize that oh yeah th this is what they like to do here this is what they like to do here because he was there for eight years so anyway guys what do you think about us getting Andy Dalton as our backup quarterback versus Cooper Rush? Obviously, I think it's night and day. It's it's no contest. I, Cooper Rush needed to go, and uh, if we had to carry three quarterbacks, uh, then um, okay. I just think it takes a roster spot away from somebody else. The roster did increase to 55 men instead of 53, so maybe three quarterbacks isn't too far-fetched. Who knows? But anyway, guys, thank you all so much once again for dropping by. I greatly appreciate you guys. And always remember my little piglet. It's Colin Porkchop. Loves y'all the most. So y'all take it easy, guys, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye, guys. Say it with me, everybody. How about them Cowboys? Got a damn good backup quarterback, and we got rid of some dead weight. Bye, guys.